Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first episode of a new series called Old School Shoots. Uh, this series I am attempting to catalogue all the shoot matches in rings and other sort of mixed shoot organisations. Thus to maybe make a definitive list that will help my fellow YouTuber, the most dangerous man alive today. First up we have what I believe to be the first shoot in rings, and this is Yoshinori Nishi versus Willie Peters. Good front kick from Peters and a spinning back kick. Did a bit of Van Damme shit with his hands before throwing it. Low kick from Peters. And he's uh, trying to slap Nishi in the face. Uh, Yoshinori Nishi is of course my most favourite super cool old guy. And Willy Peters is a cheating fuck of a, <laughs> a Dutch kickbox kickboxer. But he, uh, this is pre-super cheating Willy Peters. Bit of a couple of trip attempts from Yoshinori Nishi and we're up on the ropes and Willy Peters, being Dutch, is grabbing the ropes like a motherfucker as usual. Now if you're wondering, Alistair, how do you know that this is a shoot match compared to any of the other rings matches? Well, there's a lot of that clinching against the ropes which was not something that happened in the uh, shoots in rings and there's people actually defending strikes or exchanging them in sort of an actual striking way rather than one person getting their shit in and then the other person trying. And you can sort of just tell with intention. That isn't necessarily always true, but if you watch um, particular people's fighting careers and their... Uh, oh, nice duck under by Willie Peters there. Uh, spinning Yoshinori Nishi around into the corner. Yeah, if you watch people's fighting careers and their shoot style pro wrestling careers, uh, you can really tell the difference between when they're pretending to fight and when they're fighting. And uh, I've watched a good chunk of Willie Peters and Yoshinori Nishi, both of, both of which are quite good shoot style performers, but both of which also have shoot matches. The best of the uh, shoot stylists can uh, convince you that what you're seeing, nice inside low kicks from Nishi here, he's tripling up on that and then uh, Willie Peters got sick of it and threw back a front kick and a nice slap afterwards, sort of a karate combo. But yeah, the best shoot stylers can have you thinking, this feels like a shoot even though they're doing ridiculous shit. Of course, that isn't very, uh, very common. Good front kick from Nishi. Good inside low kick as well. Damn, he can hit hard. And he's got very nice striking. Considering a lot of his success comes from his grappling, uh, and a lot of his students of Waijujutsu Keshukai were also uh, sick grapplers, He's got really solid striking, and uh, he must have preferred the Kyokushin part of the uh, Kudo that he practiced before forming the Wajutsu Keshukai school. Double overhooks from Nishi, underhook clinch from Willy Peters, and a little slap at the end there by Peters, the che cheeky fucker. So, no lost points that round. Uh, we're running on a sort of modified rings rules where three downs in a round will lose you the match. So there's sort of an individual uh, round limit to points lost rather than a uh, rather than an overall points limit in the 30 minute rings matches. Although I can't exactly tell you how many it is. I think it's three downs, which would be six escapes. But uh, we don't see that, so... No spoilers here, it doesn't end due to a TKO due to lost points. Yeah, I do not understand why Nishi and uh, Willy Peters taped up their hands, because they are in rings rules, which means they can only really slap to the face and punch to the body. It's a bit of an omission in the rings rules makers' uh, book that they did not forbid the... Uh, Wrapping of hands as the boys in Pancras did. I think Nishi just apologized for punching Willy Peters in the face. Pop spinning back kick from Willy Peters into a nice clinch. Well done. Uh, nice knee by Yoshinori Nishi. 
And a belly to belly suplex attempt, almost stuffed by Yoshinori Nishi, but uh, well done, Willie Peters, to take top. Yoshinori Nishi kicking under for a leg lock, and he's on the Achilles lock, and Willie Peters has dived for the ropes, going, Yeah, I do not want to be in this situation anymore. Wise man is Willie Peters. Oh, and he helped uh, Yoshinori Nishi up, which the crowd quite liked. Good lead slap by Nishi and a nice inside low kick. Those inside low kicks are working for him. Uh, if ever you, if you've never seen Kyokushin Karate, it's two dudes standing about half a meter away from each other, just blasting each other in the chest with punches and punting each other in the legs really fucking hard. Um, and then someone will throw a rolling thunder or something cool like that, or it'll just burn the entire time limit of dudes just punching each other in the chest, being unreasonably tough. And yeah, Kyokushin guys, not fun to train with, uh, to start with. Once they work out that you don't have to try super hard all the time, they're, uh, a lot more enjoyable, but to start with, they're just so hard on you, and they're so hard on their own body, it's... Not a sport that there seems to be any longevity in, but some Kyokushin guys go for a fair while, so it's, uh, very interesting. Ah, uh, Nishi hooking the ropes there to stop himself from getting taken down the, uh, veteran move from the cheating old man. And, uh, yeah, this is why I think Andor know that this fight is a shoot, because there's a lot of cuddling in the corner. And, uh, also Willie Peters cheats like that and took, uh, Nishi down and punched him in the body even though the ref had called for a break. Inside low kick from Nishi. Nice uh, left hook to right low kick. Good low kick back from Dutch style kickboxer Willy Peters. Now, of course, you cannot say Willy Peters' name uh, individually. You have to say the whole thing all at once, otherwise, there's no point. Can't just call him Willy or Mr. Peters. He's got to be Willy Peters. Good knees from Nishi. But uh, Willie Peters bundling him into the corner. And Nishi using a uh, good uh, knee defense there, putting his hand on the hip, and nice palm strike from Willie Peters to end the round. So that's the end of our second round of five. Yoshinori Nishi had a working relationship with uh, perennial old man Fujiwara of her progressive Fujiwara Gumi fame, and uh, that is, it explains a lot uh, when it comes to his students, the uh, sort of pro wrestling sensibility, the very catch wrestling style of their grappling, and the fact that they're actually half decent workers. Um, Carl Uno and uh, Akira Soji in particular, quite good pro wrestlers, comparatively. For MMA fighters. Uh, Carl Uno, quite good, he has a really nice um, shoot style match with <laughs> spinning back kick. Lazy spinning crescent kick from Willie Beat is there. But yeah, Carl Uno in the final rings event has a really good shoot style match with TK. Referee. Uh, they became a lot more break happy in the later days of rings, but early on there was a lot of sort of letting shit go in the ring, in the uh, edge of the ropes. Nice body kick there from Nishi. Good front kick back from Willie Peters. Nice palm strike from Nishi. Good kick from uh, Willie Peters. Nice kick catch and sweep from Willie Peters as well. Uh, break, 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 says the referee. And Willie Peters takes fucking ages to do it, because he's an idiot. And uh, Yoshinori Nishi motioning that Willie Peters was uh, using sort of a, a hand strangle, uh, which is uh, not legal. Can't claw at the throat. It might cause some tracheal uh, issues. Good palm strike from Nishi. High kick from Willie Peters, very nice. 
But yeah, both of these guys are... Dutch style kickboxing comes a lot from Kyokushin Karate. Nice out front headlock and uh, attempted guillotine from Willie Peters here. He's cranking on it, but he's got the arm in, so I don't think he will be able to finish that off because, after all, Henzo Gracie hasn't perfected the arm in guillotine just yet. Uh, Nishi doing his best to break it, and Willie Peters snapping him down again and uh, pushing his head away. Punching him in the body and kneeing him right in the face as he stands up, and the ref has called that a down. Yoshinori Nishi just taking a seat and going, oh, okay, that happened, and standing back up again. And he's ready to go. So, 1 2 from Nishi. Good inside low kicks. Which had been very successful for Nishi. Needed the body from Willie Peters and he punched him in the face and slapped him right in the eye, too, which is what Nishi is complaining about here. Yeah. Yoshinori Nishi, quite lean for uh, an old man. I think maybe he's lost a contact or something, or maybe it's just a bit of loose tape from his silly taped up hands. But yeah, Willie Peters punched him right in the eye. Not legal. And Yoshino Nishi's like, come on bro, what are you fuck are you doing? <laughs> Probably calling him a young whippersnapper. Good one two again from Nishi. He's not happy about being mistreated by Willie Peters. Good inside low kicks from Nishi, those are must hurt. And Willie Peters rushed into the clinch there. He keeps being cheeky on the end of the rounds, just giving him cuddles and stuff like that. So you can see the buddy punch, and then you'll see this very nice knee to the face, which is questionably legal. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that snapped uh, Yoshinori Nishi's head back for real. It wasn't connecting with the thigh. <laughs> あ、ですからね、どうしてもね、一緒にやるべき。あの、勝つんだったらね、これは本当に際どいんですけど、そこを前蹴りで狙うべきですけどね。縦に大きく傷が。Is Chris Dolman in Willie Peters's corner? That would make sense. But I'm not sure sure if it is. I haven't seen his head. And I can't exactly remember what Chris Dolman looks like. I seem to imagine him seem to remember him being a bit more thick through the middle. Yoshinori Nishi fainting, trying to get in there. Good front kick from Peters. Good exchange of strikes there. I think uh, Peters might have come off better on that one. Nice uh, left kick there from, from Nishi. Good check, and he's sort of uh, flinching on these strikes. Oh, another nice left kick from Nishi. Good body strikes, and now he's ninja rolled away, and Willie Peters just socket kicked him in the face. And the ref's doing nothing about it, going, oh, don't be naughty. <laughs> Nishi, once again, sick of being cheated at by fucking Willie Peters. And this is, oh, and a down! Nice counter by Yoshinori Nishi, and Willie Peters lost his equilibrium there. That's why he's complaining. He wasn't, uh, rocked. He was wobbled in a weird way, and, uh, because he had, didn't have equilibrium, he fucked up trying to stand up afterwards and fell over. Good front kick from Peters. Nice inside low kick and right hand afterwards by Yoshinori Nishi. The Dan Henderson combo. Although less effective if you can only palm strike. Uh, good flurry of strikes by Willie Peters to get in there. Double unders from Peters, so we might see a takedown. Yeah. Nishi's got one underhook back. Bundled him right to the ground, punched him in the face again, like a huge dick. <laughs> and the referee is trying to break them here, but Willie Peters is unsure of what's going on. Outside low from Nishi, nice, and an inside low. Uh, paired up on that uh, left kick there. 
Ooh, one, two, and a left kick. Very nice combos from Yoshinori Nishi. Oh, nice uh, trip from Willy Peters there on Yoshinori Nishi's back. Probably going to see him punch to the body. Yoshinori Nishi wrapping up half guard. Body punch from Willy Peters and stiff arm by Yoshinori Nishi. And the ref calls a break here. Good outside low and a counter punch by Yoshinori Nishi. Fucking whoops, he says. And uh, <laughs> the ref once again says, Oh, don't be naughty, obey the rules, boys, and doesn't take a point or throw up a card or anything. <laughs> Completely, complete lack of control by the referee. So we're at uh, one down each and one rope escape for Yoshinori Nishi. A pretty good fight here, and you can see that cuffing slap, and it just wobbles, uh, it just throws out uh, the fluid in Willie Peters' ears, so he just completely fucks up trying to stand up afterwards and falls over. I don't think that is Chris Dolman, I think it's one of the other Dutch guys in rings, but I can't remember his name. It's not Herman Renting, because Herman Renting was huge. It's definitely not Willy Wilhelm either, so got no idea who it is. Alright, last round of this match here, last three minutes. Another nice left body kick from Yoshinori Nishi. He's really good with those left kicks. I uh, tried for a headlock throw, but it slipped off uh, you slipped off Willie Peters and giving up his back once again, catching the ropes like a cheating fuck uh, to prevent the takedown. Damn it, Nishi, only Willie Peters is allowed to cheat. Tyke Lynch from Willie Peters. Good set of palm strikes. Nice shot of the referee's ass. Headlock throw from Willie Peters, but uh, Yoshinori Nishi has almost got his back here. Uh, Nishi needs to grab the other arm. Well, Peters has actually changed direction quite well, and so he's going to take top in Yoshinori Nishi's guard. When he gives up on that headlock. If he gives up on that headlock. Slap in the guard from uh, Willie Peters and an up slap from Yoshinori Nishi. <laughs> Willie Peters standing in Yoshinori Nishi's guard. Don't know how good the guard passing game of. 1993 Willy Peters is. Also, yeah, I apologize for this being in a horrendous border. Um, <laughs> Akira Maeda hates many things. These, of course, include not being the star in a promotion, and uh, most of all, people posting rings on YouTube. Good pass by uh, Willy Peters off those upslaps there. And Yoshinori Nishi is flat. Willie Peters getting his, uh, <laughs> digging for a choke there, but that might as well have been a punch. And the referee not taking control here, not insisting on the break. Like, you could see him get in there and go break, but then he just has decided to change his mind and not break them. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, uh, poorly disguised ground and pound by Willie Peters pretending to dig for a choke. Nice combo from uh, Yoshinori Nishi, he's not happy about that. But we're back in the clinch. And once again he's tried for that headlock throw but he's given up his back. Uh, he's managed to turn back into Willie Peters this time and separate the hands. Although Peters has got the underhook once again. Double unders. And he's ducking his head out. Oh, and grabbing the ropes. So the ref has broken them. 
And that is it. So, yeah, that is the end of that particular match. The first, I believe, straight shoot in rings. Uh, for some reason, it is called as a draw, despite the fact that Yoshinori Nishi got uh, one down and one escape to Willy Peters' one down. I will never understand things. Maybe uh, Yoshinori Nishi got a half a point off for that uh, face punch. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, tell me what you think of this particular series, whether or not you want it to continue. Uh, if you don't want it to continue, hard luck, because I've actually previously recorded a couple of episodes. I had to re-record episode one. Uh, and so, uh, we will see you next time for the second of our old school, spelt with a K, shoots.